Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily Facebook Live. Yes, different venue. <laughs> Actually, had a busy weekend coming up. Going to be at a um, um, coaching weekend this weekend. Anyway, um, we're setting up today, hence the casual attire. But let me just get started and do this Facebook Live since I want to keep my commitment to 5 p.m. as best I can. My name is. No, jump in ahead. Episode. Price sequence. Welcome to episode 519. And I forgot to do that. Oh, well. Let me see if I can turn that off now. Um, episode 519. No, I'll do it later. Um, sorry, episode 500. <laughs> try it again. Episode 519. How to accept an apology and how not to. And I'm going to break that down in a couple of ways because it's going to change your self esteem. So, worth watching. So, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women. Find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which drives my work, my mission, and my purpose, and also a reason why I do these talks that are now almost two years worth now, called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's number episode 519, so plenty to talk about. And today's about the issue, no, wrong word, the subject of I'm sorry, <laughs> or an apology. It was inspired by a friend of mine um, who's in England right now, uh, Andrea Nicholas. She posted something early. She posted something early today, which I responded to, and she agreed with it because she did the same thing. Which is really about how we have a bad habit of giving our power away. So, what does an apology have to do with giving your power away? You may be wondering. You may already guess, but let me break it down for you. When someone basically says, "You know, sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I didn't do this. Sorry, I didn't call you back," it's so tempting for most of us, to deflect it and just go, that's fine, it's fine, it's all right. Well, it's not. Because if you do, in fact, state that it's fine, what you're indicating to the other person is that it's okay that they did that. And in unspoken language, it's also implying that your time wasn't valuable, which means that your own self-esteem wasn't valuable. Not healthy. And so this default polite behavior that we do, because the thing is, most people think there's only two ways of being. Either going to say, no, that wasn't good enough, and I don't like it, you know, angry, rebellious, upset, or going, it's fine, I'm okay, no worry about, don't worry about it type thing, which is placating. And it's also demeaning to ourselves. It lowers our own self-support. So there's a couple of switches I want, to, I want to give you, a couple of things you can switch things with, one of which is this. If somebody apologizes to you for something they didn't do or did, or did do, Say that you appreciate their apology, because you ideally are appreciating the apology, not by disowning anything yourself, and you understand what happened. Because if it's true that you appreciate them apologizing and you understand what happened, then you basically acknowledge their, their apology without lowering your own self-esteem. And it sounds so simplistic in a way, and so, sim so um, mundane. Yet if you did this, when, pe when, you when people apologize to you, you'll actually find that you'll be in a better place emotionally, energetically afterwards. Because what happens if you don't do that, if you do in fact go, it's fine, it's all right, you're slowly gonna chip away at your own self-esteem, self-support. So Jennifer, sorry to say that, one, one of your sons is very disrespectful to you. It hurts you very much, what should I do? How do you mean disrespectful? Meaning, um, and how was your son? Uh, um, give me some more context and I see if I can answer for you. But so, in, I may jump into that, but to get back to the apology piece again, because I want to make sure this get this clear. It's a simple thing in so many ways to shift your response to somebody apologizing. Yet so many people, so many of us, especially those people who are conscious, doing our work, tend to be like overly polite, going, yeah, I understand, it's okay, I appreciate how you feel, um, all that sort of stuff. And really what you're doing is you're disowning your own power. And it's not healthy to do that because by doing that, you're actually in a place where you're really, um, again, like shooting yourself in the foot. You're not owning your own power, you're not owning your own authority, you're not really respecting yourself. So again, what I said earlier, I'll say it again so you get that point clearly, is if somebody apologizes to you for something they did and it's authentic apologizing, then it's something you can simply respond to saying, I appreciate what you're saying, thank you for apologizing, I understand what happened. That sort of language, because what you're saying is you take it as a place of ownership that you do get what they're saying but you're not making what they did right. This is the key. When you make what they did right, sometimes you give a power away to do it, and that's not healthy. 
So I'm very passionate about you getting this message in this moment because it came up earlier in the conversation. It's not part of my usual conversation, but I want to make sure you get this point. Now, let me switch it for a second about giving apologies. Some people, and maybe not you, but somebody you know, has an overly active um, desire to use the words, I'm sorry, about everything. I've actually got friends of mine I'm trying to curb the habit on because truly if you're apologizing all the time for things you really are also demeaning your own, your own self-esteem you're knocking yourself down you're diminishing yourself what, this is, this is going to be your homework assignment if you're someone who basically is always apologizing and you may want to watch your own language and recall back to what you said because the truth is it's not something that um, most people are conscious of it's, it's, sub, it's sub, subdued Overly apologizing is not trusting yourself. Your own self-esteem isn't high enough. You need to really build your own self-support. If you're overly apologizing, nine times out of 10, you need to build up your own self-love reservoir. So that's a little reminder. I want to go back to these questions. Jennifer, you said, I mean, when, when sorry, <laughs> I have to do this because I can't read the screen from here. Jennifer, yes, Jennifer, you said. Um, so it's cursing, is rude, name calling, and throwing things, slamming doors. He keeps losing over over and then says he uh, he didn't mean it. Um, honestly, Jennifer, I need more in context. I can't really help you with that, just interacting like this. If you want to get more help, do me a favor. Um, go to my website, sign up for a discovery session. Fill out what you need to fill out, but just simply sign up for a session. We can talk over the phone. And I can help you with that. At least give you some clarity of direction. I can't do it over this way. It doesn't work too well because there's so many variables I don't have information on to be able to give you an accurate response. I apologize. But so, Jennifer, if you want to do that, I recommend that. So it's barryselby.com forward slash chat. Is the link I'll put, the com put it in the comments afterwards. So getting back on track, and, and I will have to help you, Jennifer. That, that sound it may be something. I mean, again, I don't know what happened to him before. If it's something to do with, with the, his, his dad or something else. So let's talk. Easier to do that offline than here. Getting back on the point for the topic about apologizing. If your homework, your homework. If you find yourself always saying "I'm sorry," apologizing and saying that sort of stuff, you got to watch it because you may be finding yourself in this place where you're trapping yourself into a lower self-esteem. The same as said on the other side where you're acknowledging someone else's apology without actually just responding to them, but you're actually doing it in a place of um, self-undermining. You're undermining yourself because you've been saying, like, it's okay to be do what they do. See, here's the thing. If they apologize to you and you say it's fine, what you're doing is you're giving permissions for them to do it again, and that isn't healthy. Now, back to the second one, which is if you're apologizing too much, you're giving people the appearance that you're never right and you're never good enough. So your self-esteem is taking a hit. So please watch the languaging. If you're overly apologizing, reduce it. Say something else instead. Maybe, excuse me, or change the topic even. There are other ways of doing things and overly apologizing is not a healthy practice. I did it myself, so I know it's not good. So I'm letting you know from my own experience, overly apologizing is limiting, demeaning, and self-debilitating don't do it now if you again if you've been doing it too much you may be finding your self-love tanks are low which is why i'm promoting of course got to promote my stuff my self-love practice which i put in the comments it's a guided meditation two guided meditations i give you including one in the morning one in the evening and a workbook that will basically take you for 30 days through a transformation experience where you'll never find the need to keep apologizing again you better wipe it out of your spectrum it takes practice though that's why I offer my practice. That's why I offer the self love practice as a guide, a meditation, a process for you to go through to change your life, because it will, including making mistakes. Anyway, I'm getting off topic again. So the whole thing I was what the point I want to make was is that when somebody apologizes to you, notice how you respond. Do you do you step down and leave them at a higher level? Do you step up and look down at them, or do you find yourself staying where you are? Because that's really what it's about. By honoring what they've said, you stay at the same level. If you are saying the place where, oh, it's okay, I, um, I don't mind, you're lowering your own self, your own value, your own time, and your own self-esteem. If you're in a place where you judge them and say, you're wrong, you're wrong and shouldn't have done that, then you're above them, and they might not be healthy either. So it's finding a way of being level with each other, to have a level of um, equality, so that when they say they apologize, you recognize them, you honor them, and you respect them, and you honor and respect yourself as well. That's a lesson to take into life. So with that, I thank you for watching. This is a quick broadcast because I'm going to get back to the room because we're doing, as I'm in this club, we're setting up the room for tonight. For an event this weekend, I'm going to be out somewhere in a hotel by the airport this weekend, not at home. So hence the different background. background. I'm planning to do tomorrow and Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We'll see. If it changes, I'll let you know. I'll put it on my social media. 
make sure you're following me. This is a Facebook Live, by the way, in case you hadn't seen my Facebook Lives before. If you're watching this on YouTube, it was on Facebook Live first, um, and I'll be putting there, so I'll give you the links for those. Again, in the comments, I'll put in my discovery session opportunity, invitation and the Surf Love practice, so you can check them out if you want. You can find this broadcast in replay on my business page because that's where I post just the replays. Pretty much nothing else is on there, so you can find it pretty easily on Facebook, which is barryselby.author is my business page. They also go onto my YouTube channel eventually, well, soon, and my YouTube channel is Barry Selby, all my social media is Barry Selby, so subscribe to my YouTube channel. The playlist is Messages from the Masculine. Watch all of them there if you wish, and eventually they get on my podcast as well. Podcast is called Messages from the Masculine, which you can also subscribe to, and you can then watch them there as well. Um, there's been some good broadcasts recently, let me just say that. Yesterday's was particularly good about Beyond the Me Too conversation. Recommend watching if you haven't seen that already. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below afterwards when, you, when I sign off, I'll respond. If you want to get help, reach out to me. I'll put the link in the comments again for my discovery session or just send me a message over social media. Um, and with that, I wish you well. Take care of yourself and think about this. Do you overly apologize? Do you under accept apologies? Ask you these questions and then respond to that accordingly. I appreciate you being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.